Good morning friends, this is Sina Solpons from Refugee Alliance Ministries in Norway, reminding you to strengthen yourself also today. I'm posting every morning to remind you who you truly are and to remind you why you are here on this earth. Now you keep wondering, yeah? Uh, but I think you know, God has put inside of you a dream that is from Him. So you should not lose focus. Keep uh, pursuing it. Keep doing it. Uh, what is strengthening many people around the world? Is this book, the Bible. And uh, I want to read from you, uh, for you, from the Psalms. That's uh, the beautiful book in the Bible. And it's possible, and it's many people who do it, who read every morning a psalm. Or when they are tired or sick or in trouble, they just quiet themselves and read psalms. Psalm after psalm until your heart gets quiet. And here is one today. It's from 61, 62, 63, some, some things I'll just read for you. Hear my cry, O Lord. Listen to my prayer. From the ends of the earth I call to you. I call as my heart grows faint. Lead me to the rock that is higher than I. For you, Lord, have been my refuge, a strong tower against my enemy. I long to dwell in your tent forever and take refuge in the shelter of your wings. Find rest, my soul, in God alone. My hope comes from Him. He alone is my rock and my salvation. He is my strong defense. I shall not be shaken. God is your strong defense. You shall not be shaken. My salvation and my honor depend on God. He is my mighty rock. He is my refuge. So trust in Him at all times, people. Pour out your hearts to Him, for God is our refuge. Uh, I will praise you, Lord, as long as I live, and in your name I will lift up my hands. On my bed I remember you. I think of you through the watches of the night, because you are my help. I will sing in a shadow of your wings. I find these verses beautiful, beautiful Psalms uh, 61 and some from 62 and from 63. You can find it, read it. These are verses that quiet our hearts, that uh, gives us strength, that reminds us that it is from God. God is our strong helper and God is your strong helper. You are not alone. He has not sent you into this world alone to do difficult things that you cannot do. He is with you. He is your strong helper and your defender. He is the father to the fatherless and he gives bread to the hungry. He lifts our heads. He, he is our helper and um, it is amazing that he is close to us. Whenever and whoever calls on him, he will not push us away. And whoever calls on him, uh, he will answer. That's his promise. So um, Jesus is our only way to God. This, he is our access. So pray to Jesus. Uh, God will answer us. I will pray now and I'm wishing you a very good day. Let us pray. Father, I thank you for your words that are life and health and strength even to our body. I pray that your words in Psalms, as people read them, that you will strengthen them, strengthen their frame. I ask for everyone listening that your words will strengthen them, heal them, free them, Father, I ask that in this moment, for those who are open, that you will indeed come into their hearts and speak your good, strong, sweet words to them. To change their situations 
and make everything new for them. I ask that you reveal yourself to them, Lord, in a dream, in a vision, through people, through the Bible. I ask that everyone who listens can meet you and have their lives renewed. I ask for everlasting life for all who listen, and I ask for new strength. That let them experience your love, Lord, I ask. As I've experienced, let them experience your love and your new life for them, I ask this. To the glory of your name, my Savior, and to the help of many people, in Jesus' name, Amen. So, my friends from Norway, with a lot of love, uh, I'm wishing you a very good day, and read the Psalms. Psalms, Psalms, 61, 62, 63, and many others. Have a good day. See you tomorrow.